Welcome to the graphics card upgrade video. The new graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. Throughout this review I will constantly be comparing the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 to the NVIDIA GeForce GT 610. First I will be unboxing this graphics card and then installing it. I will then benchmark it using Passmark, 3D Mark 11, Nova Bench and Uinigini Valley. I will then play 5 different games at low and high settings on both graphics cards while benchmarking the frame rate. These games were Far Cry 4, Fallout 4, One Late Night, Dark Age of Camelot and the popular blocky building game known as Minecraft. I then record the games with fraps to see how a recording with fraps affects the frame rate. I then give both graphics cards a go at video rendering with Sony Vegas and then give password cracking with Crark a go with both graphics cards. I then install the old graphics card into an old HP Pavilion A1350A desktop and then compare the results before and after. Please note that most of the review was recorded in 720p and 25 frames per second, however because some parts of this video, especially the screen recordings of the games were recorded in 1080p and 50 frames per second, I decided to render the video in 1080p and 50 fps for those who are interested. Here is the graphics card box. Let's take a look at the box. Here is the back of the box. Let's take the graphics card out of the box. As you can see it comes with a free download of World of Warships. Let's take the graphics card out of the anti-static bag. Here is the front of the graphics card. Here is the back of the graphics card. Here is the I.O. plate, let's compare the I.O. with the old graphics card. On the GT610 we have one VGA port 1, HDMI port, and one DVI port. On the GTX 1060 we have two HDMI ports, two display ports, and one DVI port. As you can see the new graphics card does not have a VGA port so I will need to use this HDMI to VGA adapter to run this old 2004 Packard Bell 1024 by 768 VGA monitor. Let's remove the old graphics card. Here is a picture of the old graphics card. I will need to remove another expansion slot cover since the new graphics card takes up two slots. Let's install the new graphics card.
As you can see the screen is running at a very basic resolution, this is because the graphic drivers are not yet installed. Let's install the graphics drivers. I am now going to benchmark both graphics cards using Passmark. Here are the results, in red we have the old graphics card and in blue we have the new graphics card, overall the computer is doing about twice as good with the new graphics card. The CPU is apparently doing about 1% worse which doesn't make much sense because it is exactly the same CPU. The new graphics card is doing 27 times better at 3D graphics than the old graphics card. I am now going to benchmark both graphics cards using 3D Mark 11. Here are the 3D Mark 11 results the overall result is about 21 times better, the graphics test is about 30 times better, the physics test which is a CPU only test is apparently doing about 1% worse. The combine test is doing about 17 times better. Here is how this computer with the old graphics card and how this computer with the new graphics card compares with all 3D Mark benchmarks uploaded within the last year. With the old graphics card this computer is only better than 2% of all other results, however with the new graphics card this computer is better than 87% of all results. I am now going to benchmark both graphics cards using Nova Bench. On the old graphics card I got 202 frames per second and on the new graphics card I got 2808 frames per second. Here are the results.
I am now going to benchmark both graphics cards using Uinigini Valley. Here are the results on the old graphics card I got an average frame rate of 2.1, a minimum of 1.5 and a maximum of 3.5. On the new graphics card I got an average frame rate of 58.8, .8, a minimum of 28.8 .8 and a maximum of 116.7. In this section of the video I will be testing the average frame rate of 5 different games on both graphics cards, first with all their quality settings turned down to their minimum, then with all their quality settings turned up to their maximum, and then again on maximum settings while recording with fraps. To record the minimum and maximum tests for each game on each graphics card without recording with fraps I will be filming the screen with a camera on a tripod and to record the audio for the tests without recording with fraps I will be running the audio output from the desktop into the microphone input on my laptop and recording with Mril's action on my laptop. To benchmark the average frame rate I will be using the benchmark feature on fraps. Here I am playing Far Cry 4 at minimum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 6.3 frames per second. Here I am playing Far Cry 4 at maximum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 3.1 frames per second. Here I am playing Far Cry 4 at maximum settings on the old graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 3.4 frames per second. Here I am playing Far Cry 4 at minimum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 136.9 frames per second. Here I am playing Far Cry 4 at maximum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 81.4 frames per second. Here I am playing Far Cry 4 at maximum settings on the new graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 45 frames per second. I am now playing Fallout 4 at minimum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 7.4 frames per second. Here I am playing Fallout 4 at maximum settings on the old graphics card. 
I am getting an average frame rate of 5.6 frames per second. Here I am playing Fallout 4 at maximum settings on the old graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 6 frames per second. Here I am playing Fallout 4 at minimum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 187.9 frames per second. Here I am playing Fallout 4 at maximum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 166.7 frames per second. Here I am playing Fallout 4 at maximum settings on the new graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 50.4 frames per second. I am now playing one late night at minimum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 14.2 frames per second. Here I am playing one late night at maximum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 6.5 frames per second. Here I am playing one late night at maximum settings on the old graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 5.1 frames per second. Here I am playing one late night at minimum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 123.6 frames per second. Here I am playing one late night at maximum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 102.6 frames per second. Here I am playing one late night at maximum settings on the new graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 50 frames per second. I am now playing Dark Age of Camelot at minimum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 110.4 frames per second. Here I am playing Dark Age of Camelot at maximum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 53.8 frames per second. Here I am playing Dark Age of Camelot at maximum settings on the old graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 34.6 frames per second. I am now playing Dark Age of Camelot at minimum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 263.9 frames per second. I am now playing Dark Age of Camelot at maximum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 128.8 frames per second. Here I am playing Dark Age of Camelot at maximum settings on the new graphics card while recording with fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 49.6 frames per second.
I am now playing Minecraft at minimum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 144.5 frames per second. Here I am playing Minecraft at maximum settings on the old graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 61.7 frames per second. Here I am playing Minecraft at maximum settings on the old graphics card while recording with Fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 46.3 frames per second. I am now playing Minecraft at minimum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 1441.7 frames per second. Here I am playing Minecraft at maximum settings on the new graphics card. I am getting an average frame rate of 374.3 frames per second. Here I am playing Minecraft at maximum settings on the new graphics card while recording with Fraps. I am getting an average frame rate of 50 frames per second. Here are the final results for all 5 games on both graphics cards at minimum and maximum settings and while recording with Fraps. At Far Cry 4 the new graphics card did about 20 times better, at Fallout 4 it did about 21 times better, at One Late Night it did about 11 times better, at Dark Age of Camelot it did about 2 times better and at Minecraft it did about 6 times better. In this section of the video I will be using Sony Vegas to render both an unedited single layered video and a heavily edited multi layered video with the chroma key effect applied, both videos are 1 minute and 40 seconds long. I will be rendering both videos first as MP4, then as WMV then as AVI with both graphics cards and comparing how long each takes to render. To film this I will be using a camera on top of a box pointed at the render window because if I record the screen it may affect the results. First I am rendering the unedited video as an MP4, I have sped it up by 4 times otherwise this video would be long and boring. The new graphics card took 1 minute and 35 seconds. The old graphics card took 2 minutes and 16 seconds. Next I am going to render the unedited video as a WMV. The new graphics card took 1 minute and 38 seconds and the old graphics card took 1 minute and 47 seconds. I am now rendering the unedited video as an AVI. The new graphics card took 27 seconds and the old graphics card took 32 seconds. I am now going to render the heavily edited multi-layered video with the chroma key effect applied as an MP4. The new graphics card took 1 minute and 45 seconds.
the old graphics card took 3 minutes and 38 seconds. Here I am rendering the heavily edited video as a WMV. The new graphics card took 1 minute and 52 seconds. The old graphics card took 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Now let's render the edited video as an AVI. The new graphics card took 1 minute and 7 seconds. The old graphics card took 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Here are the results. Here you can see that when it comes to rendering an unedited video the new graphics card is only slightly faster, however with a heavily edited multi-layered video with the chroma key effect applied the new graphics card is quite a lot faster. You can also see that the new graphics card has made more of a difference to MP4 render time than it has to WMV or AVI render time. This also shows MP4 and WMV take longer to render than AVI and that a heavily edited video takes longer to render than an unedited one. I am now going to be using both graphics cards to crack RAR passwords with Crark which is a program that brute forces passworded RAR archives, it basically just tries every combination until it finds the right one. This is something that graphics cards are very good at. I am now making 4 passworded RAR files with 1, 2, 3, and 4 character passwords that I will be cracking. I am setting the passwords to a series of the letter M, this is because M is in the middle of the alphabet so this should represent an average password. First I am going to crack a 1 character password, the old graphics card took 10 milliseconds and the new graphics card took 20 milliseconds. Next I am going to crack a 2 character password. The new graphics card took 0.3 seconds and the old graphics card took 1.8 seconds. Now I am going to crack a 3 character password. The new graphics card is finished in 1.06 seconds and the old graphics card is still going. I have sped the video up by 2 times in case you are getting bored watching. The old graphics card took 35.08 seconds. I am now cracking a 4 character password. The new graphics card is finished after 10.63 seconds and the old one is still going. I have sped this video up by 4 times. I am going to skip to the end otherwise this video will be long and boring. In the end the old graphics card took 8 minutes and 49.09 seconds to do what the new one did in 10.63 seconds. Here are the results, the new graphics card did orders of magnitude better apart from with the one character password where the old one apparently did better. This also shows that the time it takes to crack a password grows exponentially with length which is why it is important to have a long password.
I am now going to install the old graphics card into this old HP Pavilion A1350A desktop, first I am removing the 6200 SE. Let's install the drivers. I am now benchmarking the HP Pavilion A1350A with its original graphics card. I am now benchmarking the HP Pavilion A1350A with the old graphics card out of my good desktop. Here are the results, in the red we have the HP Pavilion A1350A with the original 6200 SE graphics card that it came with and in the blue we have the HP Pavilion A1350A with the old GT610 graphics card out of the new desktop. In the yellow I have loaded in the new desktop with the old GT610 graphics card, it is doing about twice as good at 3D graphics even though it is exactly the same graphics card. In the purple I have also loaded in the other old desktop which does not have a graphics card at all so you can see how it compares to the HP Pavilion A1350A. The reason why I didn't put the GT610 into that desktop is because it does not have a PCI Express port. I think that is about it for this video. Goodbye.